You right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another episode of the Silver Striker Tournament. Today we have Eddie Johnson going up against Ag Bon Lahore in this semi-final matchup. Whoever wins this one will be going through to the final to play the winner of the last episode who will find out who that was in just a second. But first, if you are looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go check out futcoinking.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap and reliable coin service. Use code CAP5 at checkout for a discount. So, let's dive in and have a look at what, what, what happened last time. It was Malapa versus Mayuka. Very tight affair, but you guys clearly had one favourite as Malapa got 406 votes to Mayuka's 76. So we'll be seeing Malapa in the final of the Silver Striker tournament to go up against one of today's two competitors who we'll have a look at now. First up, Eddie Johnson. He's 72 rated overall, 85 pace, 64 shooting, 49 passing, 73 dribbling, 49 defending and 82 heading. He's 6 foot. He has medium, medium work rate. He has 4 star skill, 4 star weak foot, the flare trait and power header trait. Then we have Agbon Lahore, 73 rated overall, 90 pace, 70 shooting, 64 passing, 74 dribbling, 49 defending and 74 heading. He's 5 foot 10, medium medium work rates, 3 star skill, 4 star weak foot and he has the injury prone trait. Now let's dive in and build the team around these two players. In the left mid position we are going to be using a guy that plays at the same team as Eddie Johnson. We've got Neagle and actually he turned out to be a really really good player. In fact one of the strongest players in this team. I think he picked up like two man of the matches in the five games that I played with him which is kind of crazy considering he's a left mid. You don't really see that from left mids very often. Then at the right midfield position, we're going to be using Informed Townsend. You can see there the 74 rated version of him. Really nice card, very expensive and uh, definitely one that... Um, you know, you might want to try out. It wasn't particularly strong in game, but it does look very, very nice to put him in the team. Then at the centre defensive mid position, we're going to be using a player called Edu. You can see there the American obviously going to link to both of our players playing in the BPL and being of the uh, United States nationality. Then at right back, we are going to be using Klein from Southampton. You can see him go in there and get that strong link with Townsend. And at the centre-back position, we're actually using Inform Corker as well. So really nice player there. And you can see there we're getting strong links going into all of those players. They're all on nine chemistry. So I thought that I'd do something interesting with the remainder of the defence. And I decided to go for Air Divisi, which is kind of cool because you don't see Air Divisi uh, defences all that for, all that often. The one player that I really wanted to use was the left-back Van Anhult. You can see there the Vitesse player. Really strong as he has 91 pace. He has 77 passing, 76 dribbling, 72 defending and 71 heading. Good player and really did uh, do a very good job at the left back position. Then at centre back we're going to be using a well, a, a fellow countryman that plays in the air division. We really needed to have that strong link because otherwise we were never going to get um, well, we're never going to get full chemistry on them. And it's a guy called Congola who plays for Feyenoord. You can see there he goes in and uh, yeah, he's pretty good. I mean, he's got 72 pace. He's got 80 heading. It's just his defending stats that really let him down a little bit. And then in goal, we are going to be using another Air Divisi player. And it is going to be from Feyenoord. And his name is Mulder. So he's one of the better goalkeepers in the Air Divisi. But I didn't think he was a particularly strong one when I used him. I think that he let too much stuff in, which was a bit of a shame. But, you know, you can't really be uh, too fussy. Especially when you keep getting matched up against gold teams that have bronze benches. I had it so many times using this team, which was so frustrating because it it really does sort of you know disadvantage you definitely and it sort of ruined the competition in some ways as I had to replay certain games because there was like like I played like three the last three games I played were all against goal teams and I maybe scored one goal and it wasn't even with the two players so I thought that I just you know make sure that I actually played in a fair contest against other silver teams having said that I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because at the centre attacking mid position we are going to be using a goal player but I needed to use him because it was the only way this hybrid would work and it's uh, well it's the transfer Dempsey to Fulham you can see him there getting the links into everyone and I was expecting him to be really good because Finch bangs on about Dempsey being a really good player all the time I think he calls him the American dream but um, I didn't think he was all that good I thought that he was a bit clumsy on the ball he didn't pass all that well which is a real shame but you know he did the job anyway so it's quite a strong team guys if you want to go and try it out but um, I think you could build a lot stronger um, maybe you can think of a different way to build this team go and put a link in, or go and send me a tweet if you do find a way to build a better team with these two players in it but there you go that's the team what we're going to do now is go and have a look at the stats and the goals for these two players. 
So we have Eddie Johnson on the left and Agbon Lahore on the right. Now, as you can see, Eddie Johnson managed to get a heck of a lot of green stats, but both players played extremely well. I take nothing away from Agbon Lahore. He's a hell of a player. You can see that he managed to score five goals in the five games, which is pretty good, to be honest. You know, a goal per game ratio is very good, but Eddie Johnson managed to get nine, so it's far higher. He had better rating. He had more man of the matches. He had a better consistency. He had more assists. He had better pass accuracy. The only thing he fell down on was the shot accuracy where Agbon Lahore actually excelled because he got 100% but he did only take nine shots in the five games whereas Eddie Johnson took 23 so make what of that you will and uh, Agbon Lahore also had the better dribble completion having 87% which is really really high now guys it's up to you who you want to go through to the final of the Silver Striker tournament to go up against Malapa will it be Eddie Johnson or will it be Agbon Lahore go to the FUT head squad that's in the description go to the bottom there's two comments from me one says vote Johnson one says vote Bon Lahore, thumb up the one you want to go through to the next round and whoever has the most will be the player that goes into the final so there you go guys that's the end of the episode I hope you have enjoyed it obviously if you want to drop a like that would be amazing subscribe if you're new to the channel but other than that I'm going to have to leave it there and I will see you all next time